Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? <laughs> Welcome back. Here we go again. Happy Thursday. And we've got a new event. We've got the year one Rothgar, Craglorn, Imperial City event. We've got tickets. We've got all kinds of cool stuff. So we're going to definitely get after that. So what's the new event? It's the year one event. So it's going to be Rothgar, Dailies and Rothgar, or Dailies and Craglorn. I don't think there's an achievement for doing the Dailies and Craglorn. So I'll probably do the Dailies and Rothgar and get that achievement. And, um, and then that's one ticket. The other ticket is in Imperial City. You go do a daily there. Ogres count as giants in Rothgar. Ogres count as giants. Oh my god, they made them giants instead of humanoids? This was their move? This was their big play? My god. Ogre rights! Ogre, we demand justice! Well played, Zoss. Well played. Minotaur counts as a giant. Easy. Minotaur? Minotaur's a giant? Is it? But is it though? Yeah, Pariah's Pinnacle. What is this? What's Pariah's Pinnacle? A house? In the mountains? Looks kind of cool from the little image. Hmm. What is this? What are you co being me for? Yeah, you killed one in Falkreath Hold and you got the Endeavor killing a giant. Okay, Zoss. Whatever. It's a house next to VMA. Oh, way up there in the mountains? That could be cool. Let's check that. Hold on, hold on. What does that look like? A house way up in the mountains. Hmm. That could be good. We must investigate. Why don't I recognize this house? Yeah, as I suspected, it's got a fantastic view. Well, if the draw distance was a little better, it would. It would be a fantastic view. Mostly just blue. You can kind of make out some mountains. Ooh. It's actually a nice, a fairly nice. Oh, you know what I did here? I did a, um, somebody made a, an incredible, an incredible maze in their house. It was fantastic. And it was in this house. And at the very end of the maze, at the very end of the maze, right? It would circle around. It went around that way. Okay. And then I'll show you what they did at the end. So then it came through here. Right. And the you had to end up back here. Right. So you go through there. There's a hallway. And then at the very end, there was a jump puzzle. <laughs> Over out here in the floating distance. Right. And so uh, you're getting so close to the end and you fail the jump puzzle and you fall to your death instead. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's great. The humans is third. You right, this thing? Look at it. Dude, I, I can fit a whole pot of coffee in this if I want. An entire pot of coffee. A 12 cup pot. It's everything. It's everything. Yeah. But what can I say? I like my coffee. I like my coffee. What was my degree in business is what I ended up graduating with. 14 cup pot of riot. We're actually looking for like a new coffee pot because we've had this one for years. And I'm not sure how much of the flavor in my coffee comes from the pot and how much comes from the ground, be you know, the beans that I'm putting inside. So I'm like, it's probably about that time. You know, we get a new pot. This one's lived a very long life. It's seen a lot of shit. And we're looking and I, I discovered... I saw, I was like, oh, they have 14 cup pots. And then I was like, but how big does it go? And I found like carafts Whoa. that can do like 40 cups. And I was like, and I was telling Dash, I'm like, 
do we need a 40 cup she's like no i'm like yeah yeah that's a ridiculous idea we don't need a 40 cup pot oh, yeah that's, oh, that's silly that's silly but do we she's, no i'm just kidding yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 oh thank you for the prime it's fat dad thank you man thank you for the prime dude welcome to the family by the way we do dash yeah we do get a pour over setup is worth it yeah see the pour over setup is nice but i'm very much a min maxer right i min max in game and i min max in life and so like i can get you know 90 percent of the quality of a pour over from a pot of coffee with one tenth of the effort and so my mornings are already, you know, I don't have enough time as it is. I wake up, shower, get ready, get the stream ready, get up and then sit down. And so like anything that's going to make my coffee portion take longer is probably just not going to happen. Is your high rise in Alaska? No, it's in night city. Actually, it's in night city. Beautiful here this time of year. I should mention. Your previous coffee pods pump was going out. So it took an hour to make coffee while the other half evaporated. <laughs> oh man. So you always got half a cup. Get a, get a bun coffee maker. Like the big ones. I'm looking, I'm shopping on Amazon and stuff. I never realized how hard it was to find a coffee pot that I liked the look of, you know? I moved and so like I kind of want like it to look good in the There'll kitchen be a visitor to Somerset. and before I would just go to Target I would go to Target and I grab the $20 Mr. Coffee right I'd slap that on the counter I didn't care it might have been hideous but it made coffee I was happy you know now I have a new place and I like I'm like oh but the kitchen should look you know I want it to look a little bit nice I want to find a I want to find a uh, coffee pot that looks nice while working well and I hate the look of all the coffee pots. Found out I'm very picky. Lucky, you have a Costco membership, right? Yeah. They ship from the website. Look at theirs. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even think to check Costco for coffee pots. I'm going to be honest. Love your percolator. Found a thrift store for about seven bucks. It's close to 40 years old. Made in USA. There you go. Lucky Ghost will have a Wood Elf brewing coffee in, in a stone vat in his basement. I would. Yes. What else are cannibals? I probably actually know because you don't ever want to live with a cannibal. So what else can't be in the basement? No, nope, nope, nope. You're just asking for them to get out one night. Probably hungry. It's just trouble from there. Ratio eight is really nice and really good. They had some reliability problems, but excellent support. Oh, cool. The next version comes out soon and should be solid. Ratio eight? Is it, is it like smart coffee? Like, what is this? Support? Keurig K cups are the best. I like Keurig. I have a Keurig machine. I got one <clears throat> because my last job, they ordered a, um, uh, they ordered, they accidentally got two commercial Keurig uh, machines, right? It's like commercial size, like industrial Keurig, right? This thing could a nuclear bomb could go off and my Keurig would still be kicking, right? This thing is, it's, it's a workhorse, right? And, and it makes, it makes an amazing cup of coffee and it can make like a hundred in a row. But the problem is it makes them one at a time. And I just, I don't want to wait for my coffee one at a time. I like to just, you know, open up the old thermos and pour it out. This thing keeps coffee hot, like all day long. That's it. That's it. Well, then, how did you reflect that? There's a shield sigil you can grab. Don't mess him up if you want to use that to help you. Or you could run over and bash him. Now, every one of these ends the same way, yes. right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Every one of these ends the same way. Just salty tears and disappointment. You're going to walk up to this thing hoping for an inferno staff, maybe a bow. you're gonna get a sword and board or battle axe or something nobody wants okay i am personally looking for uh i would like a resto staff maybe 
I would like a resto staff. Okay, we got to debate the desire filter. I would like a resto staff and... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what... Uh, another battle axe. Uh, so I have 47 of them. All right. The moment of truth, guys. You want a prediction? All right. This way, more people can uh, share my sadness. I like it. Uh, start a prediction. Will I... Will I get the Inferno staff? Okay. All right. One minute prediction. Get ready to place your, your bets. Yeah. One minute. Go, go, go. Place those predictions. Go, go, go. Just answer no easy points. Oh. Uh, watch me get disconnected while I'm waiting. Did I come back for the first time in months since experience Lucky getting an Inferno staff? No. Lucky doesn't get Inferno staff. That's not a thing that happens, guys. All your points on no? What? Event luck. So it is the uh, one year celebration event, which means we don't get to be disappointed once today. We get to be we get to be disappointed twice per run. All right, guys. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. All in on yes. Ah, you shouldn't have done that. You don't know me very well. Here we go. Another sword and board. Another sword and board. Another sword and board. Yeah. Yeah. I told you what I was going to get. I told you. That was a resto, but that was succession. That was succession. So what I really got was a Maelstrom perfected axe. I got literally two tank sets. I got two sword and board sets. Two sword and board sets. Literally. Nobody wants this. I told you not to believe. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you this was going to happen. I did. Well, guys. On that note, I'm retiring from Elder Scrolls Online. It's been a good run. It's been a good run. It has, you know? Uh, but, you know, a man can only take a, so much mad, disappointment. Lucky? A man can only take so much disappointment. <laughs> Dips on his stuff. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. This is fine. It's fine. That's fine. 